This is not finger tight. Oh shit. We hit the fence. Maybe. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Today's captain's blog is brought to you by Luke the Juggalo Santa O'Rourke. Good morning, campers, and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 10.50 hours on Cinco de Mayo. Oye! Cool. So, first things first, let's see where we're at. And look at that, guys. We're officially in auto-maintain mode. So, it says it should be done with the main charge. Let's see what we get. Let's see how many bars it was able to bring it to. I do, it's way earlier than I expected for it to be done, but let's see what we get. Oh my god, seven bars. We have seven awesome bars. That's glorious. Katie! We have seven bars! Seven! Seven bars! This is a new record. That's what I thought. I don't know if we've ever had it that high. It's such a cute little charger. Seven bars! I'm just gonna let it keep doing its thing. I should unplug that. I'm just gonna leave it on here. See what it can do. That's cool. Seven bars. We'll be back. <laughs> You're not shitting me. I am not shitting you. Luke the Juggalo Santa O'Rourke. Yep. Thank you for today's captain's vlog. <laughs> so Batman is stripping down control panel mojo. It's 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 a hard couple days to do blog because really we've we've done the main sort, we're putting stuff away, we're sorting out things like the giant copper penetrator. Jesus, that's that's beefy. And uh, we got some fuses here. What are these? Five kilovolts, 15 e amp. Hmm. Looks like fun. Check out this thing. You're gonna like this. This this gonna make you tingle. Is there, is there a marking on it anywhere? No, there are no markings on this. I have reason to believe this is a diode assembly. But I'd have a lot more reasons to believe that if some asshole would have put a sticker on it at some point and it said, oh, hang on, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, there's, there's markings. They're just really subtle. It's a diode. Check that out. Alright guys. Get me the data on this diode. Maybe 2 kilowatts? 20C-5, I don't know. Hmm. Teach me about those diodes. I'm interested. You having fun? What, what do you want to do with that? Hmm. Put it in robotics for now. Just, it's a neat little reservoir tank. It's a nice little air reservoir. Yeah. Alright. I'll have a use for it. Alright, cool. We're cleaning, we're sorting, we're moving stuff. What are you guys doing? Oh, okay. They're mounting a camera on the roof to get that thing finally sorted. Dogs! Oh my god, dogs! So, we got rocks and they've started to move. There's been some rock migration. The dogs are very happy. You guys could be playing on the rock pile, getting those all knocked around. You're very good at entropy. Okay, you two are like, oh, you got a stick. You've got a stick. Look, look at that. Look at that stick. Oh my God, go get the stick. See, you two could run around on the rocks and spread them around. You got a stick. Oh my God, stick, 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 shit, stick, go. There could be way more running on rocks. 
Spread them around. You could be helping with entropy. God. Give me the damn stick. I got the stick. I got the stick. You want the stick? You want the stick? Stick! You want it? Yeah? 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 Okay. Go! They can do this all day. Go, no, 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 go play with your stick. So, where are we at? We're back in charge mode. That's the RAR charge mode. It was. Yeah! Yeah, it's right on there. Why not? Well, you could have put it over a couple more inches so the camera would see it better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it needed, it, next time I do it, I got to align it better. But uh, I've been checking this with the, uh, the overhead cam from time to time. When the red lights on were charging, when the, I think this one's blue. It's an auto maintain mode. I haven't seen it in conditioning yet. I wanna, I wish there was a way to like just hit a button and put this in a specific mode, but charging, it's uh, it's warm, but not hot. It's it's, it's warm it's like, the cat would sleep on this warm, but not, not uncomfortable. I, I totally wasn't using it to get warm yesterday after working on the fence. Yeah? Okay. It's it was totally lovely weather for that, wasn't it? Oh, it was yeah. great. We're probably especially, gonna have to do that again on the other end. What? Because we got about half the rock we need. Um, did Rebecca talk to you about the boy who wants to bring in his grandpa's tractor and move the gravel that way? Yeah, I'm not going to wait for that. No. Right, it's, it's not That's that. Right. It, 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 if we had a bobcat, then yeah, I'd bang it out, but I'm not going to dick around with it. We'll, we put the entire team out there for half an hour and move the pile. That's what I pretty much told everybody. She's like, he's got a bobcat. Yeah, but that's I, I such fun. a pain in the ass with getting it here and in and out of the... Nah, nah. We wouldn't have to deal with it. It's grandpa. I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah. No, it would fit right to the... The dump truck would have fit to the thing, but he was worried about the tree scratching up his truck. Yeah, yeah. It would have fit just fine. His he, truck, which is full of rock, can't brush the tree. It might scratch my truck. And I'm like, really, dude? Just, yeah. Okay. We'll be back. We can keep bouncing between, <laughs> like, 11th. Second. Usually I get first, but it's usually only about five minutes. <laughs> I think you got first the first time I met you, actually. Yeah, <laughs> winning. Hi. Hi. Hey, Nuno. You dropped the thing down in here, didn't you? Thing. You dropped the punch. Did I? Yeah. Are you blaming me? Because it's you're the guy on that your did side it. And you're the one that was using it, it the most. It's right there. Like we'll be able to get to it because we're taking the thing apart. Oh yeah, we'll get to it eventually. A couple <laughs> weeks, we'll be down that far. It's in there. So. You can see it. There's the punch. I admittedly dropped a small Allen wrench. That's special. What, what you got going on there, Mitch? He's a, this half of this cart is a three-wheeler. Okay. And that half's four-wheeler. Okay. <laughs> so this might do the thing three-wheelers do. Okay. At some point. So we gotta take it apart. Are all the are all the bolts out? Um, it looks like. 
So I think we probably want to get a big dealy whacker. Okay. Two by four and give it a little gentle loving. Okay. Hit the two by four, not the cast aluminum housing. Yeah. We need to treat this with love and respect. And beat the fuck out of it with a hammer. So this is a, uh, a rather significant project here where we have about 10 billion little parts that all have to come apart and get cleaned because there is... Well, on that side, we've got pee. That was fun. The whole thing is soaked in animal pee. Probably did, raccoon. Did, did you not say there was poop there as well? There was, there was a little poop. A little poop. But a lot of pee. Okay, like I, I think, I think this <laughs> was the raccoon urinal for about 10 years. And uh, this side, not quite so bad. It's, it's just other things that don't currently emanate an aroma, and we're thankful for that. Turn that thing again that you were turning. You turn that, and all these move. And then it moves down here. Really? Yeah, right here. I love and that, that. Do it again. I love that. Do it again. I love this so much. And that turns a differential over here. This so is like... you're you're turning a differential from there down through over to here. This is so much awesome. Yeah, it's it's gonna be neat. Do it. It's like binding. Katie, don't balance high on the thing next to the big heavy thing that weighs a couple tons. Do it again. Do it again. Does it look like it's breaking the seal at all? Or? I'll let you know when I see it move. Nope. You got nothing. Or sealant between those two. No. No. You don't think so? You think they're just a matched? I think it's just face? a machine surface. I mean, there's a little shoe on those. Katie? Yes? Get a big hammer. Yes. Where's the, where'd the big crowbar go to? And the big crowbar! We don't know if we haven't seen it recently. Big yellow crowbar? It's yeah. in the tool room. Big hex one? Yeah. So they split a little bit and then they just come back. Then you got a bolt that you haven't found yet. I'm gonna do the same operation on this and see if it looks loose over here too. Yeah. Something's holding them together in place. Base! Oh! Huh. Another bolt you didn't oh, see it. before? Oh, no. It's a big bolt. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a, a half inch, 13. This is what I found for options. Big we, want, we want this hammer. Do we have a, um, 13 sixteenths? Yes. Yeah, I can. 13 sixteenths? What? 13 sixteenths. Okay. That one. Thank you. Please tell me there's only a couple of these. That's the only one you found so far. Uh, I see two at least. Oh, okay. There's at least two. I've, I've got that much figured out. Maritime proctologist to my uh, sure. resume. Naval, naval proctologist. Now that sounds that sounds too naval. close to an, uh, an anatomical term. 
<laughs> you're going through the belly button. <laughs> they do that. Yeah, I don't want the word you're looking for is endoscopy. Well, that's just through a little hole. Yeah. What's your belly button? A little hole. There you go. Full of scar tissue. 13 16 and a 7 8 because, yeah. That's totally what you want. That's exactly the tool you wanted for this. Is that not exactly the tool you wanted? No, it's not gone. Taking me 45 fucking minutes to get it on the knot. I believe in you. Click at a time. That's going to be a GIF. Did you see the one of us? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was so good. What? Somebody made one of uh, Steve, Steven. 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 Bellatini? Yes. Right when, we, right when we set down the aluminum thing, he did this. So they looped this. this. Now we're going to get shopped in next to each other doing that. <laughs> Disappointment there from that. A little bit, yeah. Any luck, Batman? Yeah, right we got the key code? Oh, uh, we got the cylinder open. I think it just says B1 on it somewhere. Take that to Hooger Hide, too. Of course, yeah. Okay. Now we're just shipping it to him. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> First, we gave him the key. Here's the lock. Yeah. Right. All right. I mean, it, it was a Chrysler. They only had like six keys made in the yeah. 90s anyway. So. All right. Take that to Hooger Hyde in the morning, see if they can cut key to fit it. Okay. All right. I've been in some sticky keys. That door, I tell you what. Don't, don't lean against that because this whole thing's going to go foom, and that's when he's going to break his arm. Okay. Rolling, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but we're about to separate the case. There's a third. I had to stare into the abyss for a couple minutes to find it. I'm going to take this really big nut right here, and I'm going to put it right here. Just like that. That's a good idea. Katie, can you do one on the really other side? Really big just, nut. Just a right, bit. Right there. So when they separate. And I'm going to put another nut, yeah, like that. God. Holy Lord. Does that have to be all the way? <sighs> No, just put it down finger tight. It's not finger tight. This is not finger tight! Oh, motherfucker. You know what? It's tightening it. <laughs> God. Really? I'm trying to bolt like around six corners right now. It's, it's dumb. Hey, Katie, grab that and walk around over here. This? Yep. There, you hold the camera. Huh? It's still going. hold that. Turn it this way. Turn it the other way. Oh. That's cool.
turning it beyond, once it flops over, turning it in the same direction doesn't do you any good. Don't stick your fingers in there if you like having fingers. I like having fingers. It's a gyroscope. I know. Technically, it's a directional gyro. Did not know that. You can see the markings are on the outside. It's directional gyro. Did you take the two nuts off? I just want to see if I can even shift it before I can go that far. It appears as though it wants to shift, so let's pop some nuts. Give her hell. Where's the longer one? I don't know. Which one have? It's right there. Oh, they just moved independently of each other. You've done it. Yay. It'll be really easy to take those guys off now. Yeah, yeah. See, it's almost like somebody else has designed it that way. Almost. Well, how about if we move the individual pieces out here where we have some actual space? It's an idea. And rock out from there. But that would be like using logic and reasoning. Come on, casters. Let's go right on, right on over here. Right here is a great spot of floor. Look at that. All right, let's tear this one down, then we'll do the other one. Not the ones that I put on the. Tool dolly. Look at look at that. That's what's happening. What? Because. Yep. Centrifugal force, centripetal force, like, oscillation. I, I, I know the There's physics happening there. I meant, is it designed Torque, for angular it? momentum. Is it, does, okay, I'm gonna shut it down. Ooh, that like, smell. Every time you take one out, you just get another whiff of it. Can you smell that? You know, you know what I mean? What's the name of the character and the guy? For know what I mean. Like, know what I mean, Vern? That guy? You might not remember this. I most certainly do not. Character's name is Ernest P. Worrell. Guy's name is Jim Varney. Yeah? Yep. The uh, he did a ridiculously large number of commercials, all for local markets. Yeah? Yeah. Back in the 80s. He did just hundreds and hundreds of commercials.
gaffa. This is pinned horizontally and vertically, so it's still constrained in a position it can't come out. It comes out. It went in. It comes out. So. All of these bits need to come off, and then I think this can... Okay. It's my theory. I'm sticking to it. I think it wants to come out the top. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll hand this to you. Grab both the uh, crowbars. happened explosively all No, 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 the, like the little disconnecty things. Yeah? All right. Here, you want to put something in this side? That's good. I got one. Yeah? All right. So you want to lift it? I'd say bring the forklift over. You can't bring the forklift over here, but we can hold this right there. Hey, the forklift? Seven bars. <laughs> seven. That's like... We've never been that high. Seven more than we had. A week ago. Today. Yes, it is. We actually started at zero, but the, it, the old fully charged was four bars. Yeah. Five was incredibly Un rare. Unproof. Yeah. And six, I'd never seen six. Never seen six bars. Didn't even know if it went that bad, did you? I think it goes to ten. Wow. So here's the question. Do we want to lever this up so we can get the forks under it? 
or do we want to? No, sling we it? want to sling it. Okay. Yeah. Where do we want to sling it? Because uh, there's a nice point on that corner. Well, there's this thing on each corner. What do you got? I was thinking this looks like a nice spot to sneak a sling. Oh, that's lovely. Like that's like. But we've got these. There's this half inch hole on each corner. Yeah. Do we have beaners? Yeah, we can do that with a beaner. Or do but we, we have? We got to lever this up high enough to get a two by four under it. Lifting guys, do it. No. I wish. We should. Hey! You know what we got a ship pot full of. Come here. Slings and clevises. No. Well, cable. 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 Whatever we've got. We've got this. I was I was starting to put shit away, and I noticed that we have a box full of. Uh, Oh, it's right here. Look at that. Yeah, rigging stuff. Look at that shit. Well, I was thinking we've got little hunks of that stuff too, don't we? Yeah, but I don't know where. Bellatini would know. I think it looks like a little city. This is actually one of the original models for the movie Metropolis. Katie's on the wall now. Yeah? Cool. He's upgraded her. Your G4. Mazel tov. Okay. Guess who I realized isn't on the wall? Who? Brian! Brian's not on the wall? <laughs> Put Brian on the wall. He'll be in tomorrow. We may actually duct tape him to the wall. <laughs> I was just looking at the wall for who I was missing. Brian is on the wall. We'll be back! Time is 1819, so we've crossed the 48 hour mark on this, and we're still in charge mode. So I'm going to stop this for a moment. Just set it here. Plug this in.
Seven bars. Huh? Is that full power? No, I think we, uh, judging by the looks of it, ten is full power, but we're at seven. Which is the highest we've ever been. And we've been at seven bars since we started the day. That is so cool. We'll be back. Remember to torque to spec. Two and a half crumbs? <laughs> no, this just needs like a. <laughs> We'll ignore the fact that you've got a big bit of slack in between there. I'm not worried about we it. We won't even talk about It'll that. It'll slide until it catches. Oh, okay. The iron oxide dust coming off that really, really makes me Stainless cable, <laughs> but crappy clamp. Okay, you happy there? I'm really happy. Okay. Want to roll it over? Yeah. All right. Go slow. You might want to pull forward a little bit.
Hold on. Oh, wait. going to take some figure in for a minute here. Okay. We don't have the box there. This is where we sit back and light a cigarette. At least for the next two years while I can still do that. Why won't you be able to light a cigarette? They're legislating the hell out of e-cigs. Uh oh. And for the guy that I work with, he's fully expecting to be out of business in two years. case, I'll just go back to smoking camels. It's a terrible idea and I don't want to do it. I can't quit. Quitters never get anywhere. Now, what I'll likely do is this simple e cig like this, one of these will last me a year and they're not expensive. So I buy 20 of them and a couple of gallons of juice. I'm fine. Hey Chris. Yeah? How much are you going to hate it if I drill out some capacitors? Why would you have to drill out capacitors? Fasteners. fasteners. Oh, fasteners. What fasteners do you get to drill out? Actually, no, we got Katie hands. Katie, come over here. I like my hands. Those? I'm and I want my hands. Those? Do you want me to set this down and back out? Yeah. Got it. Clear. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <sighs> those. Those. We need to undo those. You see this red shaft? How are we going to get to those? Exactly. You've got little hands. Woman hands. We will employ woman hands. Yeah, but... But I gotta get to the space. Yeah. It's designed to do that, so. Okay. How is up to you? I will grab things. I'll grab things and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. What? I just put the forklift away and it's charging. <laughs> and you can't hear it on the blog! Yeah! The forklift's charging right now. Just like that. We should put like a. hook up a mixer have it so it plays a recording of the other charger anytime we plug that in on the live stream, just so that people know that's not a bad idea. Just a nice 60 hertz. So this, so this red one? Should have come out. I should, oh, that guy, shit. that guy, that guy. That red guy was straight. Oh, he's not, shit. he's not so Yeah, bad. that's straight. That's bad. But, honestly, I think that's the only steps. Yeah? I mean, I know I've said that before. We pulled this off, there's gonna be a lot of shit hanging off the bottom. 
Yeah, we'll be able to block it up on six by sixes or something, probably. Shear off. I mean, we just picked up the weight of the entire bottom on that one red shaft. Shooter with the longest extension you got. I think it's eighth inch. Because if he can't get those collars off, I'm going to try taking the two bolts out of the pillow block. Pop that off. The other option would be how much can we get out here? Hey, hey, Just hey. Cut it. Hey. Cut, the shaft. cut it. I have to cut it. Yeah. It's in those slip collars. It's got a bevel. Right. Give, me, a, give me a black one. Or give me the blue things. The long, the, the two blue crowbars. Got it. I'm going to break the end off this. Shit, I don't like Alright, that's, I don't know. No, it isn't. Get the two short extensions. Have we got the two other ones? something. It moved. Did it move enough? Where did we move it? <laughs> we got one color passed. <laughs> did we? No, we're out of the big block. We're out of the big block thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. The issues are still crossed over this shaft right here. Yeah, but we're out of the block. And if yeah. we can drop that down between these two, there's an airspace here. And we're still stuck over this. All right. Um. She wandered off with that eighth inch drive, didn't she? Katie! Probably. Yes. Come here with that eighth inch. Wait a minute. This? Yeah, what you got? Bring it here. I haven't got it yet. Can't bring, find bring it yet. Bring me what you got. I'm Can't going for a different yet. direction. Okay. One screw. One screw, two screw, red screw, two screw. No, red shaft. Shaft is indeed red. No, shaft is black. It's red. She's too young to get the joke. She's making a shaft joke. You don't know who shaft is, do you? That's a damn shame.
Such mild steel. If we had a hacksaw, we could chop the end off yeah. of it. from the, the back. other side? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think this spike comes off and then you can get access to those is the design. Not working. Yay! Ooh, we're, we're on that the thing. Sounds we're on the... a little more. Sorry. Right. Hold up. Are you sticking your hands in there? No. Okay. Because I will beat the shit out of you if you're sticking a hand. I'm not worried about the wire. Here, watch out. Watch out. Okay. Oh, it's already cut. He's just set here. Key's not working this game. <laughs> I got one, damn it! All for you. Oh, yeah. That's gone forever. <laughs> Alright, now, here's what we do. We take out these bolts. Mitch, watch. These yeah. bolts, these bolts. Yeah. That one, I like these that one. These big That's giant one. bolts, yeah. Yeah. And these will come out as whole modules, just cool. Yeah. Now that we figured, now we, now that, it is. Now we figured out how it's designed. It'll be easy. Spider webs on there. Alrighty. Um, I have no idea how to curve that. That? Yeah, I'm fresh out ideas. Uh, I get four big chunks of buckets. Four buckets. Five-gallon buckets of support? Probably not. It's kind of hard. 
But if you put it on that, that the oh no, jet skis on that. Never mind. How how terrible? That's terribly not flat. It is really most sincerely not flat. We'll be back. Twenty one fourteen hours. And the modules are out and can be transported down to the robotics lab. Are you excited? We totally thought we were going to have it at bear casting by the time we got back. And we were on pace, let me tell you what. Like, that's we were the fastest anyone's ever We worked. took all four of these bastards out in probably like eight minutes. Yeah? Wow. Like, like, just clicking. Is that the sound you like to hear, Chris? This is quite the casting. Beautiful. It is. It's really an, just a beautiful bit of engineering. This whole thing is a beautiful example of engineering. This could make a really cool desk for the lobby. <laughs> for like the check-in yeah. desk. I wonder how much this weighs empty. Oh, hi. Probably 200 hi. pounds. Yeah? If That's that. not bad. Trying, well, to just... a, trying to get another one in there? I'm going to go on with 150. Yeah? Okay. He's been attacking me. Well, you could put your safety glasses on. I did, but <laughs> she didn't have them on when I got her. I was sitting here, yeah. I was doing shit, and I'm he was bleeding, and he like sprayed the, the shit in my eye, and now I'm kind of worried. So hard Maybe being here. Hi guys. Hi. What's up? You're on your own with the boat. Why? Because. Oh shit! I got it out of the front yard. Give me a moment. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, so this is a quick experiment. Oh, I already broke the first piece. The latch just broke off. Oh well, it fell inside, so that stay? Yeah, it'll stay. The little latch bit just broke off the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why'd oh. you do that? Uh, so we came over here real quick for a quick experiment, because the weather's pretty nice. I want to try out my Pawnee. Which does this. Uh -huh. There, as long as, the, as long as the hatch stays on, we're fine. And even if we lose the hatch, we'll be okay. So the plane lights up quite a bit. This is the maiden flight. That's really cool. I like it because I can follow it with the vlog <laughs> yeah. camera. This is way easier. And I don't have to worry about looking to the sun as a person that doesn't like to wear sunglasses. It's very visible. This is awesome. I support this. Let's go out in the field a bit, away from the trees, because the trees are harder to see at night. That is so cool! It's very pretty. I like the nighttime plane. Let's see how short she'll land. Well, more than that. Definitely wants flaps. Oh shit. shit. We hit the fence. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
That's okay. That's a successful maiden. That was collision with a with a fence, so that's okay. I'm not sure that counts. <laughs> I think it's okay. No, we banged up the spinner. Where is the spinner? Oh man. It's on the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around over there and get that shiny thing. Okay. I might be able to put it back on. My flashlight does this thing where it like works and then it doesn't. Yeah, so yeah, there's something really loose somewhere. Cool shiny thing right there. Can I have that please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, spinner on this plane just snaps on. You're just illuminated from like the plane. <laughs> it's very convenient. Definitely needs the latch. Yeah. Uh, plane. It didn't fly off, so that's that's the thing. It's nice having a plane that you can use as a flashlight. <laughs> okay, so it needs a lot of runway. Yes. <laughs> It's really floaty. Sorry. I put the 2200 battery in it. I've seen a lot of people say it wants a 3000. It's really floaty. I'm trying to take it really mellow because I don't want to lose that hatch. I think Jesse just got here. Maybe. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see a cartwheel. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, we've cartwheeled it a little bit. <laughs> it's a little banged up here. Yeah, it's got it's got a little rash. But it doesn't look that bad. No. So Battery durable. Secure. It's a tough little plane. Which makes sense because if you're flying it at night. It's more likely to. Anyways. Hey Jesse! Hey Chris! Parked in the wrong lot, but it didn't take long to figure out where I was supposed to go. I just looked. Did, did you notice the airplane? No. I saw Casper flying around. I can't wait to see what the 911 dispatch desk looks like tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, there's a UFO right now. Well, I've already <laughs> crashed it twice. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem too worse for the wear. No, it's no. a tough little plane. Because you, you of all people have problems with the landing. Not being able to see the ground is really helping out, isn't it? Hey, the first landing was awesome. There's just a fence in the way. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I think glide's pretty nice. Now, I can't see any people out in the field, so just be aware if the plane is landing and coming at you, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs>
because if it hits you, there's a big spinny, shreddy thing on the front that really <laughs> fucking hurts, just so you know. Not that you know. So what size lipo's in this one? Uh, this is a 3S2200 at the moment, but it's really floaty. So it might want something bigger? It might, it might want a three pound. Are you like a recommended battery or? Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. I'm flying the recommended battery. Oh, okay. Well, 3S is just voltage. So. Yeah, 3S 2200 is uh, pretty much standard for park flyers. 11 volt. Yep. My Traxxas is a 2S. That sounds so cool. I got a rattle somewhere. Yeah. Well, you said you crashed twice already. No, I had the rattle on the first takeoff. Oh, well. Yeah, he's crashed. <laughs> that is pretty though. It is really cool. It's it's floaty. Yeah, but I mean the like I'm the used to flying AS three X stuff. Yeah. So alright, we're coming in, watch out. Uh -huh. You don't have a lot of park left and there's somebody walking here. Yeah, that's even worth it. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's good. Okay, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> Waved it off. There's brown, brown. Okay. And we're down. What now, Mitch? Nothing. <laughs> it's so pretty. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's really floaty. It looks like it'd be a floaty airframe. And it has really? optional flaps, and I can only imagine how floaty it'd be with fucking flaps. <laughs> oh my god. Of, speaking of floaty. Yeah. My kickstand went like eight inches into the dirt when I tried to park. <laughs> It just kept going over, and I was like, please stop. <laughs> so that's that's the Pawnee Brave Night Flyer from Horizon Hobby. It's a, it's an e-flight plane, and it's pretty cool. So on the like before we put it in the air, I broke the latch off the thing. Like I went to open it, and the little latch is down in there somewhere. Well, it was three flights ago. Uh, and uh, it did that cart first real landing. Stuff. Notice just how floaty it is, and put it into the fence. And <laughs> uses a lot of runway. Breaks not so much. And uh, second landing, we cartwheeled it, which is really cool with a plane that lights up. By the way, just like, derp, 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 derp. and uh, and then third landing was was beautiful. It was There's your, your dust light. Just lost my flashlight, Chris. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mowing the grass. <laughs> Having a flashback to Moose's house. I was gonna say, how do you take it off? Do you throw it more or less? Or no, no, it? it's in, she'll she'll take off from this. But if I put it in the air with that, uh, here, hold that. Uh -huh. Don't lose it. Okay. Off pitch. Yeah, that's a lot harder to do. Yeah, good luck yeah. landing that. That's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell pitch of the tail. Watch out. Yeah, you can. Oh, <laughs> rated <laughs> Somebody Based just, on headlights. Somebody threw up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot of full lights when landing it. <laughs> that's not a remote switchable thing? No, I'd be really cool if it was, but it is not a remote switchable thing. Yeah, because you have nine channels on the remote. Oh, yeah. it took three crashes to fuck something up, but oh. I finally did it. Oh. Oh. Hey, but look, there's the park right cool. there. Right back on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we'll just glue that right back. It'll, It'll still fly. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's Here, World War One. now. There's for you. Oh, good. You're going to want that back. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. <laughs> uh, all right, it's about to get dark. Hang on, I'm going to check this. I'm going to say I'd carry it out here. So you got light to see where you're going. <laughs> Well, here. Throttle lock on? No. <laughs> no, I'm going to unplug it before I carry it out of here. <laughs> the throttle ah! radio. Turn the radio off. So, that's the maiden of the pony. Shit! What? Look underground for something really sh that thing, yes. <laughs> I watched you all walk over yeah. here. Oh, what is that? Shiny. It's the nose spinner. Oh. The propeller is like a $5 thing. That's no big deal. It oh, all to replace. All the the yeah. nose spinner is another $5 thing, and that's the second time that it popped off. <laughs> it just snaps on, 
and oh, we, crashed I crashed it into the fence, and the nose spinner landed on the other side of the fence. <laughs> so yeah, that thing you said about long runway, huh? She's got a little little rash, but this is Actually, a rock and roll, rough and tumble type of airplane. I was gonna say for you crashing, this is this really is, not, this, this is fine. Nice. This fine. The nose is still on the front. Of yeah, the plane. it's still it's still got a hole. Hey, that one. Were you here when I? took out the red and white plane and exploded it two <laughs> seconds in. I don't remember. That plane flies again, I'll have you know. That, was that, that the Adagio? Plane, yeah, the Adagio. I saw the blog. Yeah, yeah, that, that I one. I liked the one where you landed four inches below the ground with the yellow and purple one or whatever. That was, that, that plane doesn't like me. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Thank you, See Mitch. Good night, sir. Good night, Mitch. Okay, so you want this. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll need that. Yeah. Here, sir. I'll take my, my souvenir. Coming good at the divorce here. <laughs> well, somehow it's my fault that she set her alarm two hours late. What? She had to wake up two hours ago? She was supposed to be at work at 7 30. She works thirds? Yeah. Oh. As an RN. Oh, they do that a lot. Turns out those hospitals are 24. In home. Yeah. She's in a home. third shift in home nurse? In home keys. For little kids? Yeah. That is not a job I envy. Sarah McKee. No. How one. fucked up has the kid got to be that needs a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I have the keys? Here, here you okay. can. Thank you. Mitch and his chainsaw. Today's captain's blog is brought to you by Luke the Juggalo Santa O'Rourke.